one of my favorite verses for illustrating how Christian hedonism produces love for people by love for God is uh, in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2, it says that um, there, um, in, in a severe test of affliction, their abundance of joy and their extreme poverty overflowed with a wealth of liberality toward the poor saints in Jerusalem. So you've got extreme poverty and you've got extreme affliction. So you don't have what you do need and you're getting beat up because you just become a Christian and this abundance of joy is just it's like a volcano in the midst of those two. This is not prosperity preaching, right? This is joy. This verse 1 says it's coming from grace. It's coming down. Your sins are forgiven. You're adopted into God's family. I can't believe I'm a child of God. My sins are forgiven. I'm going to heaven. Hallelujah. Take another offering. That's exactly what they say. They give once, and then they plead with him. They take another offering. So where did that generosity come from? It just says it so plainly. The overflow of abundant joy produced the generosity. So if, if you were to make the case, which you're not, that feelings don't matter, what matters is obedience. What matters is discipline. What matters is self-control. What matters is devotion, duty. I think you're just not reading your Bible. And, and you are denying what 2 Corinthians 8, 2 says is the fountain of generosity for the poor in Jerusalem. 